Hi friends, we got a lot of markers to cover today. I'm Lindsay, the frugal crafter, and you're not gonna think I'm very frugal after this video, but we are going to go through a bunch of different marker types because every year, um, my personal friends, I get emails, I get phone calls, my friend saying, Lindsay, my teenager asked for Copic markers. I had no idea how expensive they were. Do you have uh, any any tips for me? Where should I buy them? Are there any alternatives I could try? And um, I thought, you know what? I really ought to make a video about just that, comparing all the different alcohol markers that I have that are currently available. And um, this video is not sponsored. This is uh, These are markers that I've collected over the years. Some have been sent to me for review. Some I've personally purchased. And um, and I have quite a selection here. And I think it can help you decide what might be right for you. Maybe it is Copics. Maybe it is the, the Cadillac of, mountain, ma of mountains of markers. <laughs> mountains of markers. That's what I have. Mountains of markers. Um, or it may be one of the less expensive options. So we're going to go through the pros and cons of all of them. Um, I have a spreadsheet here, friends. Oh, yes. I've been geeking out big time today. I've got a spreadsheet with all the different brands uh, listed that I am going to discuss that I have. Um, also, whether they come with good storage, whether I have a review on them. Then we talk about the price, the style, what kind of nibs they have, uh, what kind of shape they are. That way, by the end of it, you should have a really good idea or a really good overview of what type of marker you might want to go for. And um, it could help you if you're looking to buy a gift for somebody. So um, without further ado, let's get into it because we have a lot to go through. I thought about doing a live stream on this, but then I thought if I had questions on top of going through all of these, um, it would be very difficult. So if you have any questions as we're going along, pop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. And I'll probably premiere this video on YouTube so that um, I can kind of answer questions on the fly. So if you are watching this on YouTube um, and it's not being premiered at the moment, then you can look at the live chat and that way if uh, other people are asking the same questions you have, which is, you know, quite possible that that would happen, um, then you can benefit. The other reason I didn't want to do a live stream, oh good grief, will you focus please, um, is that I'm I was afraid I might have some technical difficulties and I can kind of control my tough... My <laughs> Uh, maybe I can't. I can kind of control my technical difficulties while I'm recording. So we're going to start off with the Copic Sketch Marker. The Copic Sketch has a round barrel. It uh, is very non-rolly. It's very comfortable to hold if you have smaller hands like I do. I don't think it would be a problem if you had larger hands. Um, the caps remove very easily, so that's good if you have um, any strength issues. The uh, color number is on the barrel of the marker as well as on the cap. The name and number are on both of the caps. You get a chisel edge and you get a brush nib that can give you a bunch of different strokes. That is the Copic Sketch. Um, they sell for about $5.83 a piece if you're buying them from one of the big box online stores or if you're picking them up in store in a, like a local Michaels or Hobby Lobby or what have you art supply store, they're probably going to run closer to 7 or $8 a marker. Sets cost um, a blending set of three, which would include a light, medium, and dark um, version of each color, uh, run about 18 bucks or $17.55 on Blick, and a set of 72 will set you back $421.20 on Blick. Those are less than retail prices, but I think it's pretty, um, pretty comparable to what you're going to pay at any of the online stores. So that's what, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for prices you will typically pay, not retail, because that can be quite a bit more. Um, the, the sketch markers have a color range of 358 colors. I do know uh, several people that have collected all the markers in the range. Um, complete set syndrome is a thing. So if you want to have uh, oodles and oodles of choices of colors, that probably has the most extensive, extensive range of all the markers we're going to look at today. And you can replace Place the nibs and you can refill it with the ink. Now last year, or actually this year, um, Copic reduced the size of their ink refills. They used to be 25 cc or 25 mls of um, liquid. Now they are 12. So the price is the same from what I used to pay $5 for a 25 cc of ink and now it is $5.39 for a 12 uh, cc thing of ink. So and again, that's not retail, that's what I would pay. And uh, and so I'm a little disappointed about that because I feel like it makes this expensive marker even less affordable because over the long term, these can be cheaper if you're using a lot of ink, if you're, if you're using your markers a lot. Um, this is kind of one of these, if you use a lot of marker, they can they, they get cheaper over time, basically. Now, there's also a version of the Copic marker called the Copic Chow, and I don't have any of those, but they're skinnier and they have the 
the caps are colored with the color of the ink, but there's no names on the end of the caps. Um, and the name or the number is on the barrel. So just to give you that reference. And there's also one other type of Copic that's not as popular called the Copic uh, Classic. And that one has a bullet tip and a chisel tip. So you don't get the brush nib with that one. So I would avoid that one. There's no point in pay Copic prices for that marker because there's so many um, alternatives that are way, way cheaper and just as good. So there is your Copic sketch. So if your teenager says, hey, I want some Copics for Christmas, this is probably what they're talking about or the Copic Chow. Um, Performance-wise, they're identical markers. You can refill them, replace the nibs, um, but they are pricey, and we're going to look at some alternatives that will cost quite a bit less. Now, the, clo the closest duplicate to the um, Copic Chow is the Blick Studio brush markers. They are one of my absolute recommendations. Ever since I tried them, I think it was like about four years ago, I purchased the set of 96, and I paid $136 for them at that time. Um, they had a, uh, a really great coupon that day, and I just I snagged them, and I'm so glad I did. They've since added, I think, 47 new colors to the line. Um, uh, I know the total line right now is 143 markers, and um, maybe they'll add more. I, I think, you know, if, if, you know, products are popular, they tend to, companies tend to add more. Again, you've got the beautiful, flexible brush tip, just like a Copic. And I do feel, I do think like this tip feels just like a Copic. Some brush tips don't, and we'll get into that when we talk about other markers. Then you've also got the chisel tip, same as a Copic. It is oval-ish. It's kind of a squoval. It's um or a hexoval. It's a uh, it's kind of oval in shape. It would fit Copic storage if you had Copic storage, but it's just got a little bit of a like a hexagonal angle on it. Very comfortable to hold. Um, I really like this marker. They run between 265 and 340 per marker, depending if you're buying how many you're buying. Um, these are only sold at Blick, and if you buy um, like more than 12 or something assorted, so you don't have to buy 12 of one color. If you're buying a bunch of markers, then it brings the price down. But the regular price is 340. And then if you, um, or there, the price they sell them at is 340. I don't know if they have a different, you know, MSRP, but it's their marker, so I wouldn't think so. Um, the sets for a 96 set is $209.29 now, and they have six piece sets for $12.59. So I'd probably try a six piece set and see if you really like it before you invest in more and maybe just kind of pick and choose the colors that you want or build up over time. Um, although if you do buy a set of 24 and higher, it comes with a really nice case. Same thing with a Copic. If you get one of the larger, I think maybe 36 sets and above of Copic, they come with a nice hard, clear acrylic case. Same with the Blick. The Blick Studio, honestly, is a very, very comparable duplication to the Copic marker. Um, these also have refill inks. A 25cc refill will set you back $6.75. So just a little bit more than Copic, but you get more ink. And actually, these prices have just gone up. They used to be about four bucks for a uh, for a refill, but this year the prices have really gone up on these. I think probably due to lower abil uh, availability of um, of pure alcohol during the pandemic. So maybe the prices will come down next year or the year after. But currently their their prices are up on the refills. And nibs are the brush nibs are five dollars and twenty four cents uh, for three replacement brush nibs. I have not had to re replace any of the nibs in any of my markers except for my clear Copic blender, just to give you a little bit of a just a little bit of a uh, an idea of how resilient the Blick Studio and the Copic nibs are. I probably use my Blick Studios more, honestly, although I've had the Copics longer. But they both are very, uh, very resilient. I checked on the nib prices for the Copic this morning, and they were $9 for three. So, I mean, I've seen them for less than that, but um, I don't know. Right now, they're expensive. So... Uh, anyway, these are available open stock, which means you can just get them one or two at a time. And I really recommend them. I think these are a really good bet for a um, for a brush tip marker. I really like them. I don't know if like your teen, if you're getting markers for your teens, if they'll be excited about this versus the Copic because of the brand recognition. But I have some other markers that your teens might really be excited about that will save you a ton of money if like the Copics just aren't in your budget or you're not sure if they like them that much. Now, another uh, one of my favorites that I really recommend are, and I have a review on the Blick Studio markers, by the way. There's another, I do, before we get into the next marker, there's another marker by Blick that's a brush marker they bring out during the holidays that is absolutely awful. It's called the Blick Illustrator Marker. Um, not to be confused with another marker called Illustrator we're going to see later today. But uh, the Blick Illustrator marker, it comes out during the holidays. It's really cheap, but the markers just do, do not hold up. Um, they The tips get all frayed and funky, and it's just it's not even worth the, the sale price. I thought it, they were pretty decent when I first used them, but they quickly wore down, and um, it was just kind of a bummer. And you might not 
realize it at first, but use them a few times and then they just start to degrade. So um, make sure it's the Blick Studio brush. And I will link all of these things. I'm gonna type up the spreadsheet that I have here. Um, and I'm hopefully I can make the spreadsheet like on Google Docs or something so that um, I can update it. And you, whenever you access it, you'll get an updated copy and then you can click on the links and get to the proper thing. Cause I don't want anyone getting those Blick illustrators thinking they're the Blick Studio because they are not, you'd be very sad. You'd have a very bad day, I think. Um, the next brush, the next marker set is, um, it's really a wonderful gem. This is the Art and Fly markers, and they also feature a brush nib, very, very juicy, um, flexible nib, and their chisel nib's a little bit bigger. Let me just show you that Copic nib just for reference. Um, the Copic nib's a little bit skinnier, so I don't know if that matters to you too much, um, but it might, so I thought I would I would mention that. Their, their brush nib's a little bit bigger, um, I I tend not to use the chisel nibs that much when I have a brush tip marker just because the brush can really do it all if you have a good brush marker. When I'm using my bullet chisel markers, I use a chisel tip mostly, but very flexible, very responsive. The, um, <clears throat> the barrel is kind of a rounded hexagonal shape. It's quite comfortable to hold, although it's a bigger marker. Um, I find the caps, they remove pretty easily and snap on pretty well. They don't remove quite as easily as the Copic and they don't have like the little divot grippy thing that the Blick has, but I'd say removal is very similar. Um, they are available in 130 colors, and the neat thing about these, which I think would be neat if you're, if somebody who has asked for alcohol markers for a gift, is that they offer them in sets that don't duplicate. Well, there's two colors, there's two grays that, that will duplicate if you bought all the sets, um, but they're they offer, and they've recently changed their set count, so you might find some of their older discontinued packs, which are fine, that's actually what I have, and they're wonderful too. Um, but you just might end up getting duplicates if you get the older discontinued ones and you start buying the new set, so my advice would be to start just buying the new, their newer sets and, and not get the discontinued ones. I think the prices are about the same because the markers are the same, it's just they've, they've kind of retooled the set so that you don't have to, um, you won't get any duplicates and you don't have to, um, buy so many sets. Um, so currently they have a set of, um, two sets of 48 colors and three sets of 12. So the two sets of 48 colors, those are $80 a set. So just um, over $2, just, just under $2 a marker. And the uh, sets of 12 markers are um, just at like $2 a marker. So you're gonna pay two or just under $2 a marker. And the thing I like about that is that, so say if like your teenager wants these markers and you're like, oh boy, they're, that's kind of that's kind of pricey for markers. <clears throat> you could like, you parents could get one set of 48. Maybe the grandparents wanna get the other set of 48. And then maybe, um, aunties and uncles want to get a set to 12 and that way he your your teen could have a full set of markers or you could have a full set of markers and you know people could each buy a little present and it would just be a little bit more affordable or if you're looking to start a marker collection you could go bit by bit and then um you know build up over time without wasting your money getting packs with duplicates in it or buying individual now this company does have open stock markers oh i gotta put a yes in there i, I have talked to her today um i've been doing a lot of research on markers today there are open stock versions available for five bucks so if you're like you've collected your sets maybe you bought them in the past and you're like oh shoot i never got you know yr30 or whatever it is um you can you can order that you can call her there's also so um, refills available for $5 for 25 cc's of ink, which is one of the most affordable lines of ink. And the other thing that's really neat about these Art & Fly brush markers is that the ink color codes that they use will match a bunch of the other markers that we're going to talk about today. So if you end up getting another one of these sets of markers and you need, you want to re-ink a pen because it's perfectly good, it's just dry, you can cross-reference with the Art & Fly brush marker refills and order from them. Uh, you can also use Shinhan ink that will also match but it's hard to find in the United States so if you're in Europe um, you could try Jackson's and you could get refills of the Shinhan and and still uh, they would they would match which I think is really cool so it's refillable it's a comfortable uh, brush marker it reminds me kind of of um, of cosmetics from like the the 80s to me I don't know my mom used to sell uh, this cause these cosmetics called like something 21 I can't remember, but it was that when I was a little, little kid. And for some reason, this just reminds me of like the cosmetics. Uh, but anyway, it's kind of, it's kind of neat looking, it's great 
great marker, and um, and I highly recommend it. So there you will see six set packs like on Amazon and on their website that are discontinued. They're still wonderful markers. Hey, if you get a great deal, grab them, but um, they have just retooled their sets. Um, and actually in the next couple of months, there will not be those two duplicate grays. They're gonna find some other colors to put in there. So if you did wanna hold off a couple months and, and, um, and get the new sets, you could, or you could just buy those two markers open stock down the line. Um, the owner is a wonderful lady. Um, she's been so nice whenever I've called for any questions, great customer service, and, um, and I really like this company. They also have oil-based color pencils uh, that are wonderful. The I have the set of 48 and I really like it. And I like to use it when I'm too cheap to use my polychromos because I want to experiment and play and I don't want to waste my expensive pencils. And they've just released a 72 set as well um, of the pencils, which, uh, which is kind of nice. It's nice to have high quality, affordable supplies. I know, realize you probably can't read that, but I'm just trying to keep myself straight here. <laughs> the next marker we're gonna look at is the Spectrum Noir Illustrator. Now this is the first marker we've looked at so far that has a brush tip and it has a bullet tip. So if you are someone who likes to do a lot of detail work, um, if you are a, a, a a hobbyist that likes to rubber stamp and you need to get in those tiny little spaces or you like to color in uh, adult coloring books, you're going to have a lot more versatility with this marker than with the others because you have that bullet tip. The barrels are a matte um, kind of squared off hexagonal shape and um, I really like this. They This is a revamp. The old Illustrator markers had awful nibs. They would fray and they just felt really dry and they were not, not very fun, um, but they have definitely improved. However, I will say that their nibs are a little softer feeling, a little more spongier feeling than the Copic nibs, and um, I prefer the other three brands that I just mentioned, the Art and Fly, the Blick Studio, and the, the Copic um, for the brush nib. But it does blend well, the ink quality is nice, they are refillable, the refill inks are um, $8 for a 30 milliliter bottle. You can get uh, three replacement brush nibs for $7. They sell, and there's actually um, four different styles of nibs you can use with these markers, so you have a little more versatility. I guess if you got this and you decided that you didn't like the brush nib, you could put a chisel nib in. Um, I think they have a couple different fine nibs that you can, that you can use. Um, they do offer open stock markers, so if you just wanna buy one marker, although I'm not seeing the open stock ones sold as, um, as as much as they used to be, it seems like they push the sets a lot. Although you can buy the sets without getting duplicates as well with a spec with all the markers in the Spectrum Noir range, which I think is really smart because you know not many people have enough money just to drop, um, you know, and buy a full range of markers if they want it. It's so much nicer if you could just buy a few at a time and not you know and not have to buy one at a time where it costs the most. You can get a small set and have the per marker price be a little bit lower. And I do have a review on these, uh, just like I do the previous two that I mentioned. Um, yeah, they're they're decent, and uh, they also sell cute um, racks to store these in. Although they don't come with a nice storage situation. The next one we're going to talk about are the biennial brush markers. I just used those the other day in that beetle tutorial, and they are kind of a rounded triangular barrel. And I'm actually swatched the marker on marker paper and taped it to my barrel so I'd know exactly what I have because one downside of these markers is that the caps are not a really good um, match for the ink. They're okay, but they're not great. So. Um, I like to do that. I've had these for a couple of years. They're still nice and juicy. The nibs are really responsive. I'm looking to compare that to a Copic. I feel like that nib looks a little bit larger. Um, no, not really, actually. I'd say they're about the same size. The barrel, the barrel feels quite a bit bigger to hold in your hand, so that's something to think about if you've got small hands. I've got small hands. It doesn't really bother me, but it is a bigger barrel. If you have larger hands, you might find that more enjoyable. It's got a typical chisel nib. I think that might be a little bit larger. Let's see. Yeah, that's close to the Art and Fly size. Um, there is no open stock of these markers. The largest set they have is a 72 set, and that is currently 51 bucks. So, I mean, usually they're around 120. I think they are doing some really crazy holiday sales right now. So if you do want these, I would snag them right up. Um, it comes with a really nice storage case that has plastic dividers so that if you put your markers in in order, they'll stay in order. I actually have mine right in front of me because I was using them yesterday. So um, oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Geez Louise. Just to show you this. Um, 
it's got a really nice case and what I did, because that's the swatch that's printed, I just took marker paper, made my own swatch and I put that there so I can see what the markers really look like and because there's those plastic inserts inside there, it keeps my markers in order so I can see exactly where they go and what color I'm going to get. Um, so there's just a little tip there, but I like the case that that comes in quite a bit. It keeps your markers organized and you don't have to spend more money on a container for them. Um, no refills, no replacement nibs. Um, 72 is the most amount of markers that you can get, although they do have sets. Um, I think a 24, they have 24 set, maybe a 36 set. I'm thinking they do have some 12 sets of like skin tones and stuff, but the stocks have been pretty, um, pretty depleted on Amazon, so it might be, you might have to wait a while for these. Um, I do know they have a 72 set in stock anyway, and the 24 set. And uh, the 24 set is 26, like I said, the 72 set is 51. And, um, do the caps peg. Oh, you know what? None of the caps that we've talked about so far peg, which means the caps don't stick on the other end of the marker. So that's not something that I really care about that much, but I thought I would, uh, while I was doing this insane, um, <laughs> this insane cross-referencing and research that I would, that I would check it out. All right. The next one we're going to look at is the Windsor & Newton brush marker. This is a fairly new player to the game. We have a brush tip on one end. We have a chisel on the other. And um, these are replacing the Pro Marker brush markers uh, from Letraset. These were bought, they, that line was bought out by Windsor Newton a couple years ago. I do have a review on these markers. Um, no refills, no replacement nibs. They run um, about four to five bucks a piece, depending on where you're buying them. A set of six is 35, and you can get a set of 48 for $110. Um, so a, a moderately priced uh, marker. A full range of colors, I believe is 173, but I could be wrong. And you can buy these open stock. So um, you'll save some money in, in sets, but get them in open stock as well. They have a round barrel. There's a little uh, nub on the brush end that would keep it from rolling, but um, yeah, it's, it's round, so it'll probably roll. And the caps do not peg. All right, next we have Altenew, which was a really nice surprise. These markers are pretty new. They're from the Altenew Stamp Company, and they uh, feature a range of 60 colors. They range in price um, from a four pack for $16 to a 60 set uh, that's $202. They have a lovely brush nib, very little drag on that nib, very flexible. And they have a bullet tip. This bullet tip is a little bit, um, it seems to feed out a larger line than the illustrator. Let's just see right there, the illustrator nib. I mean, I can do a smaller line if I go fast, but it's definitely not as fine as the nibs that come natively in with the Illustrator marker. Um, I find the ink flow to be a little bit better on these Altenews. They are, uh, they're a great little marker, and I believe, do the caps peg? No, the caps don't peg on that one. Um, they have refills, refill inks, 30 milliliter for six bucks. It's a pretty good price. And they have um, a pack of three replacement nibs for six dollars. Um, then it would be neat if some of these cheaper or less expensive, I don't want to say cheaper because they're good, but less expensive nibs, they might actually be, be uh, interchangeable because the Copic ones have gotten really crazy. It could be because they're imported there from Japan, so I'm assuming that's probably part of it. Um, they are not available open stock that I know of, but you can buy the refill inks and just refill them yourself. And it's not such a big collection that it would be that difficult to collect. There's several ways to collect the packs where you don't get duplicates, but the primary, there's like a primary or an essential set or something that will have duplicates within the other sets. I don't know, you probably can't read my chicken scratches, but just kept trying to keep me, uh, me organized. And this is a rounded triangle barrel. And um, yeah, it's really pretty, it's sleek. It's got a black barrel instead of white, which is kind of unusual. The brush marker also had black plastic. All right, the next one we are gonna look at is the Ohuhu brush marker. This is a, this has been around for a couple of years. Ohuhu is really um, kind of taking the marker world by storm, and this would be a great pick for your teen that wants alcohol markers because um, Ohuhu has done extensive marketing with um, influencers online. So like if, you're, if your teen watches TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram or YouTube, probably their favorite online um, illustrators have used Ohuhu and speak highly of them. I know Bailey J has used them. I know Jazza. Um, they, he, this one, like the Jazza's marker, ultimate marker showdown, um, 
it was between this and Copic Sketch at the end. And, um, you know, that's pretty high praise coming from such an influential um, young artist, I think that your teens would be very happy with the Ohuhu brush markers, and they are quite a steal. So a caps peg, which is nice, round body with little nubs on the caps to keep them from rolling as long as you have one of the caps on. A set of 48 will set you back $39, and a set of 120 will set you back $110. Uh, my recommendation would be to get the larger set that you can afford just because it gives you more a more range of pastels, which would be... Um, really, uh, really nice. They are coming out with a set of pastels, uh, 48 pastels, which um, is going to be, I think, is going to be a must-have for most marker artists because that's, they added it because so many people were like, no, we want lighter shades. No, we want them even lighter. We want them lighter. Um, so there is no refill ink. There is no, um, there is no nib. However, there are no spare nibs, but if your nib starts to wear out, because these nibs are not as good as the nibs on the, um, the, previous brushes that I've that I've showed you. All the previous um, brush markers that I've showed you have these kind of foam rubber Japanese style nibs. This nib is a compressed fiber nib and while it's gorgeous and it works really well, it's not as flexible. It's a little bit stiffer and um, it will not hold up. It wouldn't hold up to re-inking. I don't think your nibs would last that long, but what you can do if your nib starts to get a little soft or fray, pull it out and put it back in the opposite way because it's reversible. So it's got a reversible brush nib which will more than last your um, the ink that's in the marker. They currently don't have open stock, but I had seen on their website at one point, it looked like they were starting to add open stock. So um, not on Amazon, but the ohuhu.com. I can't for sure uh, comment on that, but it looks like they're gonna start doing open stock. I know they, I saw some markers for open stock at one point. So I'm hoping that they do that. I think this would be the one of the best picks for um, for if your teen is asking for Copic markers because I think that you know you got the street cred of the other popular YouTubers using these and they're a good marker and they're a really great value. So um, so that's that's why I put a heart there. It's one of my I'm putting hearts over the my my faves <laughs> my faves for quality and value. Um, the next one we're gonna look at is one that um, I actually don't really recommend unless you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you get like a good deal on these uh, because these are the Stampin' Blend markers. You have to, um, you have to either have a demonstrator or um, like know somebody that sells Stampin' Up! You get a, a brush tip, but I don't think the quality on the brush is as good as Ohuhu. It's a compressed fiber, but it feels like it's gonna, um, it feels like it's gonna fray. We've got a bullet tip on the other side, which is really handy for stampers. I'm sure that's why Stampin' Up! did it, so it would be most useful for stampers. The ink's really great in these. Um, I have had some go dry without a lot of use, so that's a little discouraging. I, I don't know if maybe the caps aren't aren't uh, as tight as they should be. The caps come off pretty easily because of the little grippies. Um, it's $9 for a pack of two, and they're sold in blending sets, so you get a dark and a light with each color there, and it features a brush and a fine tip, open stock in two packs is available, and that's really the only way they come, I think. The caps do peg, and they have a square body. I also want to mention there are no refill inks or nibs for this, even though Stampin' Up! sells refill ink, that's for their stamp pads, not for these markers, so um, I just want to say that. I have seen people online make their own refill inks by mixing alcohol in the Stampin' Up! ink pad refills. I don't know how that worked. I, I don't know if that really works that great, but they, the person I saw that did it said it worked wonderful. So um, there you have it. There's 78 markers in this line, as far as I can tell from, you know, adding on the website. Um, and, uh, and there you have it. I don't really recommend it, but if you were a demonstrator and you had access to these and you got them at a good price, then why not? They're not bad. Um, just given the, the other options that are out there, they're not the best, uh, the you know, they're not the best value. Uh, the next one is another one that um, I reviewed that I'm not really recommending. However, I have talked to this company and they are making some changes and they're gonna be releasing um, some other markers with my, well, say, you know, I, I gave them some, some advice and they said they were gonna take that into account and, and do another set. They had a few, they offer one set, it's, um, Oh, 48 colors for $30, although when I reviewed it, those markers were 16 bucks, so a lot of people bought it because the case was really good, it had little plastic dividers in it to keep your markers in order. Um, the markers themselves weren't bad, um, just some of the colors were very similar to one another, which was a shame for such a small set. Um, 
the brush mark, the brush end is um, a compressed fiber nib. It works pretty well, it blends pretty well, but I can just kind of feel it starting to go soft and I think it's gonna fray. Uh, let's see, we looked at the chisel. The, the color coding isn't too bad on these, uh, at least not on this one. It uses the same range of colors as the Art & Fly, so you could always buy a bottle if you wanted to re-ink uh, a marker, but I don't think your nibs would last. You need to buy, you'd need to buy a new brush nib, um, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's no open stock available, there's no refills available. The caps do not peg, and it's a rounded triangular barrel. That is the Coleco brush nib. And that's all for, oh no, I have one more, but I wrote it on a different part of my page because I forgot about it because I only have one of these. Is that showing up? Okay. This is the Prismacolor Premier brush marker. I really like the old stuff, the old school Prismacolor um, chisel and bullet tip markers. And I went out and bought one of these in a color that I knew I would use a lot, this kind of eggshell color. I use this a lot for blending out fair skin tones. And um, for me, the nib is a little bit on the soft side, kind of like the Spectrum Noir Illustrator. So I prefer a firmer nib, so I didn't get any more of these. But they're a decent marker, and um, they're the same price as their chisel counterparts, which is um, $2.95 to $4.09 each, depending on how many you buy on Blick. They're they're a lovely marker. They're, it's just I have so many that I didn't need to. I didn't buy any more of these. Um, but all in all, you know, they're not bad. The range of colors in this marker line is 196. The caps peg and they are round. Um, if you bought the set of 156, which is the largest set they offer, that would set you back $429, but it does come with a storage, um, like a storage rack. So something to consider. Uh, my first markers were Prismacolor. My first alcohol markers were Prismacolor Premier. Um, and I'll show you those, that style in a couple minutes. Um, and I loved them. I still do. I think they're great. They're not, you know, they're they're good. I think they're a little late to the brush marker game, though. Um, and if you go into store, if you're like buying these at Michaels or whatnot, you can probably expect to pay about five or six bucks a marker. So just kind of keep that in mind. The prices that I'm that I'm quoting are what people typically pay online because I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Do you use retail part, regular retail price? Because that doesn't seem fair when nobody actually usually ends up paying that much. So the next couple markers we're going to look at are some kind of specialty oddball markers. And the first first one we here have is the Tri-Blend brush from Spectrum Noir. And this is really, it's kind of a novel marker. It, well, it is novel, it's new, but it's kind of um, it's kind of interesting. So what you have here is you've got three shades in one marker. You've got a really beautiful brush tip. Actually, you've got three. You've got a light, you've got a medium, and you've got a dark. Of course, I set it backwards. That's not the best blend, but you get three shades in one marker. Some uh, some of the arrangements are better than others, and I actually picked out one that wasn't that great. That middle color should be a little bit darker, but um, it's kind of it, these markers were kind of designed to take the fuss and the guesswork out of blending. They sell for about five bucks a piece, which is pretty cheap, I think, for three brush tips, and they're not the cheap ones. And um, I mostly recommend them. I have a full review on this, and I recommend checking that out before you buy these. They just so you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, the downside is. There really isn't a lot of ink in here because each of these, you know, each of these markers only has a tiny little ink pad in there, you know, because it just wouldn't, well, it just wouldn't hold that much ink. So you are getting a little bit, you're, you're only getting about one markers full of ink in these three nibs. So they're going to, they're going to run dry on you before you're done. And, um, and some of the color picks I don't think were the best. Their original tri-blend markers, oh, let me just go through before we before I leave. Um, these are $5 each, a set of 24 is $108. So there's 24 color markers in the range, which gives you 72 colors. And um, they are a round hexagonal bag, and the caps do not peg. There are refills to the, for the Spectrum Noir inks, so you could refill these with the Spectrum Noir inks from the um, the Illustrator markers that I talked about a few minutes ago, and those are $8 for 30 milliliters if you wanted to re-ink them, which might be a good idea because there's not a lot of ink in these, but then again, the individual markers aren't that expensive. You know, that's up to you. It depends on if you think you're gonna go through those bottles of inks to make it, you know, worth your while. Um, but the other version, I actually like the colors in the other line they offer, and that is the Tri-Blend, uh, the original Tri-Blend markers, and this they offer, uh, two 24 packs of 48 total colors, meaning 144 colors, 48 markers, 144 colors. And this, I find these markers to be, um, 
to be much better. Now these are both the hydrangea blends. Of course, I probably should have not chose purple because purple is a hard color to blend. And I'm using marker paper, not a blending card. So, you know, that's going to affect things. But like I feel like these colors are much better designed to blend than the hydrangea blend on the um, the brush markers. You can take bigger jumps with brush markers than with bullet or chisel tip markers because they have a softer tip and you can you can regulate the flow of the ink a little bit better. But I found the colors they chose in the tri the original tri blend markers to be nicer than what they used in the brush, unfortunately, because uh, I do like their brush nibs so much better than the bullet nibs. But um, again, I have a review on both of these. They're different reviews. If you want to learn a little bit more about either of them, um, I think they're uh, they're a neat idea. I use them for travel. Like if I'm going to go to a front uh, pandemic, not like I've done that lately. But if I was to someday go to a friend's house to uh, you know to stamp or color or scrapbook or something, I could I would grab those because I would get all like, 72 colors in 24 markers and. Um, you know, be able to color most anything I would need to in a case like that. So um, again, these are the same price as the brush version, versions, $5 each or um, $108 for a set of 24. And of course you can shop around. You might find that a little bit cheaper, different places. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know if they had those on at Blick or not. I think they had the singles at Blick. I don't know if they had the kits. Um, and the caps don't peg and they are a round hexagonal just like the tribal and brush and if you have them all stored together they do kind of like fit together like they they kind of tessellate together in your storage box so that does save a little bit of space and the other oddball marker is um one i really wanted to like this is the chameleon color tone marker i really really wanted to like these markers because it was a really neat idea and what you have here is uh you have a sil you have a end of the marker see it's a really long marker it's like the tri-blends it's quite long and you have this part of the marker here that contains clear blending solution or basically you know straight rubbing alcohol or straight uh ethanol and then on one end you have a bullet tip and then on the other end, you have a very fine brush tip. And what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to hook the, um, you're supposed to put the blending chamber on top of the brush tip and give it like a few seconds, like hold it straight up like this. Hopefully it doesn't look like I'm poking your eyes out. Um, hold it straight up and down like this and let some of the blending solution travel down to the tip of that marker. And I don't know if that blending solution is still like viable or not a little bit. And then as you color out with it, you get this blend. So it's kind of a neat idea. Uh, the, the downside is if you've been coloring with markers at any time, it is such a bizarre concept to get used to and that charging up your marker whenever you need to um, can be problematic. And if you just want to get that tone, well, then you have to keep recharging your marker and recharging your marker to you get that light tone. So I think it's a neat concept, but I think... Um, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. It might be for you. I don't know. Uh, they have a 52 colors in total. You could get a set of 52 colors for 180. They have, they're $7 each on their own. They do have refill inks, <coughs> excuse me, $7 for 25 milliliters. And, um, and the caps do not peg and they are round in shape. And the other thing is storage wise, the boxes, if you buy one of the big sets, they do come with a nice box to keep them in, um, but if you're buying them individually, it might be difficult to find a place to keep them because they're kind of longer than, they are longer than most of your regular marker storage racks. So you might have a little issue there trying to figure out what the heck to do with them after you buy them. They also sell blending chambers like this, but that are colored and they're called color tones tops, I think, um, or color tops. And that way you could like blend between, like you could put like a blue color top on your purple marker and go from blue to purple. So it just gives you like different gradients that you can make. But for me, it seems a little bit too specific and friggy and, um, and fiddly uh, for me. But hey, like I said, it might be right for you and no judgment there. Um, I still haven't been able to part with these because I know how expensive they are. <laughs> Um, and I want to like them, but they just never really gelled with my with the way that I work. So I don't know. Maybe someday I'll wake up and I'll be like, "Yes, it's time to use the chameleon markers. I am inspired." But um, you know, uh, I think it's a neat concept. I really do. It's it just never it never really never really worked for me. But it doesn't mean it won't work for you. So uh, those are the chameleon color tones pens. Now we are going to start looking at markers that are chisel tip and bullet tip and these are very affordable and when like if you were if you were buying copic markers you know 15 20 years ago that's what you would have found that would be like the copic uh, classic and um 
it's typically what you'd see like fashion illustrators use and it's just uh, your your basic chisel and um, I'm actually going to grab these markers right out and put them right in front of me. Hopefully I have them in the same order that I started with. I think so. Okay. I just don't want to, I don't want to forget any. I, as it was, I had one burner marker that I couldn't find. I think I either, either lent them out or, uh, or something. I've got to have a sip of tea. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. The first one we're going to look at from the chisel and brush version are the Winsor & Newton Pro Markers. Now, that was the Electroset Pro Marker previously. I really like the Electroset Markers. The Winsor & Newton Pro Markers seem to be identical. So, you know, I don't think they changed anything or cut any corners. You've got a fine tip and you've got a chisel tip. Again, the just like the brush markers, you have a um, just a little nubbin on one of the ends to help it keep it from rolling away. The caps don't peg. They are round in shape. There is no refill inks or nibs, but they are available open stock. So if you bought a set and you used one up, you could go buy another one. These run about $4 each, or you can get a set of 12 for $30. Um, and all my, I had a local art store that sold pro markers, and that's why I happen to have a quite a bit of a uh, pro marker collection. They were, I think like, I don't know, 280 something like at the art supply store or less if you bought more. Um, so they were just much more affordable to Copics. And, um, and I really like them. I think they're a good marker. And uh, I mean, they're not gonna knock your socks off, but yeah, they're decent. And I do have a review on those. The next one we're gonna look at are the Prismacolor Premier Classic or also the Premier by, um, by, is it Nicole? These were sold at AC Moore. Um, AC Moore is no longer in business. However, you might see these cropping up places like discount stores and, um, you know, maybe even like a, a Tuesday morning type of store, stores that kind of sell surplus and salvage. And I will tell you, if you get a good price on these, I would grab them because I really like them. So I was trying to keep everything purple, but I, I didn't have, for some, I can't believe I didn't have a classic Prismacolor in purple. So you've got a fine tip, bullet tip. I use the term fine tip and bullet tip interchangeably. They mean the same. Um, some bullet tips are finer than others. But get a load of this nib. Isn't this fun? You, It's it's called like a tri-tip, I think they call it. It's a really fat chisel tip, so you've got the fat edge. And keep in mind, this marker is like, I don't know, 12 years old. You've got a really fine tip on the uh, the top. You can drag it back for a wider line. You know, you just have a lot of versatility here. And I just really like that nib. And just, I also, I can show you a fresher marker here because I have that. I'm pretty sure Prismacolor must have made their nibs because um, it's just, uh, it's just such a fun, a fun nib to play with. This chunky, the chunky chisel. And that's, those are the only two markers I've ever seen have that nib. And I just think it's something special. Um, I think it would be fun if they did a, if, if a Prismacolor did a brush that had the tried chisel and the brush tip. Um, the fine nib is not as fine as some of the others, but it definitely gets the job done. You're probably going to end up using that bullet tip a lot, um, just because if you've got a tiny area to color, if you're using adult coloring books or your stamper, um, or even your coloring details on an illustration, the fine tip's probably going to uh, work a little bit better for you. The fine tips on these markers have excellent flow, so um, it's a little easier to color in a large area with the fine tip on the um, Prismacolor Premier old, old style marker or the... Um, design marker by Premier because the ink flow is a lot greater. So yeah, they're just a great marker. I have no qualms with them. And they, uh, did I give you the price on those? They are a little on the pricey side. They're the same price as the uh, Prismacolor brush marker. They're three to $4 each, depending on how many you buy. If you're buying them online, you expect to pay about six dollars in store if you're buying them at like uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or the case of 156 for $429 which includes a storage rack and there are sets in between I think they're like in cardboard boxes um, but uh, but yeah they're neat and open stocks available so if you use one up you can replace it and a round body they'll roll and the caps, the, the, ah, the caps don't peg whoo <laughs> my goodness Lots of talking, lots of talking today. 200 colors in that range. Um, the Pro Marker range is 173, did I mention that? Uh, but the, the Prismacolor has a range of 200 in their classic variety. Now next up is Arteza. They're a fairly, or Arteza, they're a fairly new player 
in the art supply game and they've really done well to come up with really nice quality supplies at a very reasonable price. Now these are, um, these will set you back a little less than a dollar a marker and honestly the prices fluctuate a little bit and there's usually sales and stuff so um, you know you can keep your eyes open. It's got a chisel tip, it's got a nice bullet tip, and um, it's got a triangular barrel. The color chips are plastic on the end and they're pretty accurate. Uh, they come in different set packs. You can get a set of 36 for $30 and they have a set of 36 gray and a 36 set of skin tones. They have a set of 60 um, markers and that one I think was right around $60. I'm not 100% sure. Their set of 120 was $91 when I just checked today. They were sold out of that one. Um, but the neat thing about the Arteza markers is the 60 set and the 120 set come in a beautiful case. Oh, I've got one of my cases right here. Um, I really like their cases. I actually, you can purchase them empty too. I purchased um, an empty case to put my 36 set of gray and um, skin tones in, and they fit together in one set. But this is just the 60 assorted color. And I have um, a couple videos on these. I have one, just a review, when I got the 60 set. And then I have a comparison between the three sets, because you do get some duplications if you were to buy all the sets. So um, if you're if you're thinking you want to go that road, these are nice markers, I really like them. Um, I would definitely look at that video and see where your duplications are going to be so you can minimize that. They don't have open stock per se, however, you can buy, um, their open stock is weird. If you say you run out of a color, you can buy for $8, you can get um, the single color, but you end up with, they give you four of them for $8. So it's about $2 a marker, but you have to get, you know, you have to get four, uh, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure why they do that, but I did hear they are revamping their set, and I think they're going to be coming out with a 144 set, so I wouldn't be surprised if the 120 set does not come back in stock, um, and that 120 set for, for $91. So these do run just a little under a dollar a marker, but I really think the reason they're not 50 cents a marker, like some of the other comparable brands here, is um, that we haven't seen yet, but... Um, is because the case is really nice. I think the case is like $36 if you, no, they can't, well, maybe, I can't remember, sorry guys. Uh, the case I think is around 30 bucks. Um, so, you know, you, the, the case is factored in on the price. So, I eh, wanna mention that. I, I like it, I have a review, love the case. Um, I should probably give that one a heart. I do like that one. I do like those markers a lot. The flow is really nice. So even if you're using the bullet tip uh, to blend and stuff, the flow is, is fast enough that you can get a good blend. Sometimes with the bullet tips, the, if they're bullet chiseled, the flow is not good enough for you to get a good um, a good blend. Now this guy's a little bit of a mystery. Um, Artix recently re uh, released their Alp markers, uh, but before that they had these. And these are really neat because the chisel tip had a square cap. Let's zoom back in. Woo, there we go. The, um, the, the chisel tip had a square cap, so it was really easy to see which was the chisel tip. And then the, uh, the bullet tip had a round cap. The round cap was a little difficult to remove if you had any strength issues. It's a square barrel, a bit of a tapered square. I just thought it was really kind of a cool concept, and they had a set of 168 at one point. All I could find online today was a set of uh, 40. Um, but the four or 48, the 48 set sells for $26. I thought it was kind of neat. But then they revamped these with um, with their new line. So uh, let's see. You can't peg the you can't peg the end. And uh, they get a square barrel. I'm just seeing if there's anything here I need else I need to mention. No, not really. Uh, so then they replaced them with the Arctic Alp markers, and they've got this little like the detailing on the end is supposed to look like the the Alps. It looks kind of like cloudy and mountainy, so it's kind of neat. And um, this, you get a chisel, and you get a bullet, a, a, quite a fine bullet, one of the more finer bullets. So if you want that finer tip, if you're a coloring book enthusiast, that would help. Um, and you've got a triangular matte barrel, very comfortable to hold. And you've got the color code on each end. No names on there, but these do come with swatches, which is nice in the sets. And the sets range in price for $23 from a 24 set to um, $58 for a 90 set. And I also did a comparison with all of the their, the Arctic Alp sets if you want to see how they all work out. But if you were to buy, they have a 90 assorted set and an 80 assorted set. If you were to buy those two and then the skin tone set of 36, that would give you all the markers in the range, which is 206. Um, you'd get some extra colorless blenders along the way too. Um, but that would give you the full set there. Uh, or I think that number actually include might include the colorless blenders. I think so. I'm trying to think. I was mathing a lot today and I've probably got some stuff off. But um, 
or if you don't, you know, want to spend, you know, 58 bucks and then 23 bucks or whatever, you don't want to spend all that all at once, what you can do is buy their smaller color family sets. So they give they give you a couple ways to collect all the colors in the collection. It's a little bit cheaper, I think, if you went and got the 90 set, the 80 set, and then the 36 set. But otherwise, you can buy all the 24 sets. They have a bunch of smaller sets. They have great packaging. The packaging will lay flat like that so you can access your markers while you're working and they don't come out of order when you take a marker out. They come with swatch sheets, although I say make your own because the paper on their swatch sheets make the markers look a little lighter than they do on the paper I typically color with, so you might have that situation. And their new boxes have a magnetic clasp which I really like. They used to have a, uh, like an ornate little cl uh, clasp, like hinge and clasp, but that I found a little um, cumbersome. It also has a little carrying handle, and I just think the, the artwork on the boxes is absolutely gorgeous and so pretty for gift giving. This is another one that has been really popular online. It's been advertised very he uh, heavily with influencers, and if you're getting a present for your teens and like a bunch of your folks in your family want to chip in each, buy like a pack of 24 or something like that, like to, to give... Um, uh, a teenager a full collection of markers, it would be a way you could do that without having duplications. So look at the video on um, on the Artix. I'll try link everything down below or everything in the spreadsheet depending on how it works out. Um, make sure you check out that video before you buy so that you don't end up buying where you end up with duplications because it's a, it's they're beautiful markers are packaged really well you can reuse this, this the uh, packaging for storage very well there's no open stock option currently um and there's no nib replacements or ink refills and uh but i really i really like them um i think they're a good buy and i think they're also very um they're very classy looking so they're, they're pretty they're aesthetic they're aesthetic as the kids say and the next one we're going to look at is the Biennio Classic. They have also the Biennio brush markers, which was one of my hearted sets over there in the in the first part of the spreadsheet. Uh, the nice thing about this set is that the um, the numbers cross over. So if you have a you know B025 in the brush, it's going to match the B025 in the chisel. The chisel bullet version runs um, oh I think around 50 cents a marker when you're buying the larger sets. A set of 168 goes for 80 bucks. Um, currently, a set of 12 is 15. So obviously, the you know the larger the set, the more you save, and um, it's ju it's just a really nice companion to the brush markers and. It's a lot. It is quite a bit cheaper, especially the regular price on the brush markers when they go up to the regular price again. Uh, they're nice. The carrying cases they come in are really good. And I haven't had any dry markers. I haven't had any go dry on me. I have a lot of tutorials with these on my channel, and uh, I'm I'm really uh, I'm really pleased with them. Uh, they don't have refills or replacement nibs, but um, they. Oh yeah, you know what? 72 of the colors they have added on Amazon, you can get 72 of the colors open stock. So they're starting to release open stock versions. You just send a note when you order an open stock marker. I think, oh gosh, I don't remember how much it was. I'm thinking it was about $5 and you could you could buy a single marker. So that's nice. They are starting to add open stock. They don't have it for all the colors, but, um, but that's nice. The caps peg and they have a square body. So these are actually probably the closest to the Copic original um, markers that I don't recommend, you know, getting the Copic original because they're like, you know, five bucks and up for essentially this marker. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like these uh, Bayanio classic markers. And um, let's see, was there anything else? Oh, something else. I Those two Artix lines too, those are also match the Art and Fly inks or the um, the shin handing. So if you did decide you want to re-ink any of those markers, you are not completely out of luck. All right, now what do we got? We've got Parku. I have not reviewed this yet, but I do intend to. These are again another uh, chisel brush version. Turn my paper around. You've got a pretty hard, you got a pretty fairly hard brush tip. Of course, it's brand new. I have hardly used it. Actually, I haven't really, other than to swatch. Um, nice and juicy, crisp lines. Alcohol ink marker, your basic, uh, kind of your basic chisel brush tip version. No refills, no replacement nibs. A uh, set of 80 will set you back 30 bucks, so very affordable. Uh, there are 80 colors so far in the line. No open stock. The caps actually peg, and they are a triangular shaped barrel. And I'll show you the storage on this because I think it's really cool. It's um, it's a hard plastic case. I'll only zoom out a little bit. It's a hard plastic case with a pl with plastic dividers in the end. So when you put your stuff in order, like for blending order and color order, it is um, it'll stay there, and you can lay this on its side, 
for storage so that you have your markers horizontal. And the swatch it gives you is like a hex chart, which I think is also kind of neat and handy. So that is the Parku markers. Um, they're nice. They're new. They're, um, they'll probably expand their collection if they're popular. That seems to be what happens. Markers start, companies start out with a 80 set and then they build if it gets popular. Also, usually markers start, uh, companies start offering open stock when they've sold so many of their sets and they know that people will actually be, you know, a bill, will be there to buy the refills. Um, so yeah, that is the Parku. The next one is the Spectrum Noir Classique. And I think there's even a newer version. Spectrum Noir is, is often updating their products. And this one is an update, 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 <laughs> updated version from their original. And you've got a bullet tip on one end. It's a fairly soft bullet tip. And you've got a chisel on the other end. Um, it's basic. It's uh, These aren't my favorite, but when I first found them, these were the first company to actually come out with affordable alcohol markers, and I bought their 24 packs when they first came out, and I really liked them, but they dried up really fast, and then they switched to this version, this, uh, this uh, rounded hexagonal uh, shape, and I haven't had the drying out issue with this version of the markers, but since then there's been, I think, better options that have come out. Uh, a pack of 12 will set you back 29 bucks. That doesn't seem right. A pack of 6 is is 15, but I've seen the six packs in like the big box craft stores for around like seven. Um, no, maybe that's right. Maybe 12 is $29. These are a little bit more than a lot of the budget ones that we're looking at. You can get replacement nibs and inks, eight bucks for 30 milliliters. I don't remember what the nibs are offhand. They're fine. And chisel tip, 168 colors in the entire line. And um, there's no duplications between the sets if you're buying sets. So it's another way you can, you can put your your collection together piece by piece without um, buying doubles. The caps don't peg and they are round hexagonal. Next up is one of my favorite cheap markers and this is the Ohuhu Classic. The um, They are oval in shape like the Copic sketch markers. I really like the way they feel. They're very comfortable to hold. Um, they have a chisel which I think is a little bit bigger than the Copic chisel. Let's just do a little comparison here. Um, yeah, the chisel is just a smidgen wider, um, but the shape wise is really good. Very similar, just a little bit longer than the Copic. They have numbers on the ends and no color names anymore. They used to have color names, but um, but they seem to have done away with that. Uhuhu is constantly improving their marker versions. Now they have 200 colors, and all of their sets come in a beautiful bag. The larger sets, I think they're like maybe 120 and above, have a beautiful bag that's got like a kind of a couple dividers in it to keep your markers from falling over when you're using them and you have a bunch out, which I think is a, it's a small thing, but it's it really improves the, uh, the enjoyability of your marker coloring. There is some open stock. I saw open stock on their website, uhuhu.com at one point, but I didn't see them today when I went in there, so I don't know if it's not something they're offering anymore. They do not have refills, but the Ohuhu Classic, whose numbers do not and colors do not match the Ohuhu brush, the Ohuhu Classic actually runs on the same numbering and color system as Art and Fly or Shin Hand Touch. So um, any of these yellow that I've highlighted, they have the same coloring thing, so you could refill with the Art and Fly inks, which would be smart because I think these nibs are really resilient. I've been using the Ohuhus for quite a while and they seem to really hold up well and they are also another favorite of a lot of online um, artists. So again, if you're buying these for your teen, they've probably heard of Ohuhu, probably some of their favorite YouTubers have used them and it will kind of, you know, they'll know that you're in the know and I, you know, I think that's nice when you can get these for a fraction of the Copic price. So 40, a set of 40 is your smallest set, that's $29. A set of 200 is $109, making these just over 50 cents a marker. Sometimes there's even specials or coupons making it cheaper. Um, they, the caps do not peg and they are oval in shape. I really like the oval markers because I have smaller hands. They're very comfortable for me to hold. The next one we're going to look at is kind of an oddball. It is, um, but these are still floating around. These are touch new and again the same coloring system as the Ohuhu, the Art and Fly. You got a bullet nib and you've got a brush nib and originally when Ohuhu came out with markers they used the touch new bodies and um, there was a bunch of different brands that used these touch news. You'd buy the markers, then you'd get touch new markers. And they're, I think they're just kind of like a generic, 
knockoff of the Touch Twin Markers by Shinhan because they use that same set of inks. They are a decent marker, but I did find that this brand dried out more. So you might see those on Amazon. You can tell by their kind of like squarish oval shape and they usually have the name and then the uh, number on the end. So when you're shopping on Amazon, you can kind of you can kind of zoom in. You can see what the markers look like and then you can see what they look similar to. But they're fine markers. They're uh, they're a nice cheap version. That's what a hoo hoo used originally, and um, and they were good. And they were getting really good reviews from uh, different reviewers on YouTube. But I really like the new version a lot better. I haven't had any of those get dry, and um, they're they're I like the I think they they look better. I think they feel better in the hand. And um, but you're still gonna see these guys around, especially if you're on. Um, some of those um, those budget sites, which I don't recommend shopping on them because I've never shopped on them myself. And I do know some people that have had their credit card information compromised. I don't know if it's that, that, that was a reason or not, but like AliExpress or Wish, you see Touch New there a lot. But um, but I think they're they're all right if the price is if the price is cheap. You know they're not they're not going to hurt anything to to try. They're just kind of a weird generic marker that you see pop up all the time under different brands. The next one we're going to talk about are the concept markers from Jerry's Artorama. They're kind of like Jerry's, uh, one of their house brands. You've got a nice bullet tip. You've got a lot of, you got rubber grippies on there, I think, to make it a little more comfortable to hold. I think this would be better in, if you had larger hands. It's, um, it's a fairly large square marker. It's, your caps only go on one way, so, you know, because of the divot on there, I don't know why it why it's like that, but, uh, but that's how the design is. And you can buy them individually or in sets. So if you're buying more than three, the price drops to 99 cents a marker over at Jerry's Artorama. And if you're just buying one, it would cost you $2.79. So I'd definitely buy, you might as well buy three because three is gonna cost almost the same as one, just buying one on its own. They, it says they have an 80 color range, but I think, since these are on the same color range as the Art and & Fly and the Touch New and the Ohuhu and the Parku and all of these inexpensive markers, I know there's like more of like a range of 206 or something like that in the, um, I think it's the Shinhan ink line that all these markers tend to use. That's my, that's my, um, my deduction. Maybe it's not true. Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't think so. But, um, you know, they're, they're decent markers. I think you can get more for your money with like, um, with Ohuhu or Artix or Parku or any of those, but you know, if you're ordering from Jerry's anyway and you just you want to try a few markers, give them a try. I mean, they're decent markers. I like them. There's um, there's nothing wrong with them. And then uh, next we have the Azure markers, and these are an oddball. These um, I'm surprised these haven't really come out in any sort of big way yet. Very juicy, very vivid colors. They are, um, you know, chisel bullet like all the ones we've been looking at in this column. They're made by Royal and Langnickel, who puts out tons of products. You can find these at Walmart, and I think you can find these maybe even at some other um, discount stores like Tuesday Morning and stuff. They seem to pop up there. They run about $11 for a set of 13 or uh, $7.35 for a set of seven, and every set contains six, well, it contains one colorless blender per set. So it'd be like a set of 12 colors and one colorless blender, or a set of six colors and one colorless blender. The caps come off pretty easily. They actually remind me a lot of the color it markers, which um, I had a set of, but I think I lent them out because I couldn't find them today to review them. Um, they're decent markers, and they're a pretty good price, and I, and you know, these are probably something you're gonna find in store, and at least you know you now, you, at least now you know a little bit more about them. There's 64 colors in the entire range, but if you buy the sets, you will end up with duplications. So just to kind of keep that keep that in mind, um, they have a lot of sets like you know, portrait or essentials or primaries or seashore things like that. Um, it's just kind of a, they're kind of fun. They're you know, they're good markers. You know, if you can find them, they're just kind of a weird because like where <laughs> where do they go? Where are they from? And they are. Um, they are kind of a triangular shape and the, the caps will peg. Uh, the next one is a weirdo. This is the art marker. And boy, I get a lot of little weirdo markers, don't I? This is the art marker. These I picked up years ago at AC Moore. They were by, I don't know if they were even by Nicole. There's no like, there's no brand on this at all except for art marker. But I've seen people find these at um, Five Below. So they're still they're still around. They just have this art marker on there, and I think you can find them on Amazon as well. Um, they're fine. They're you know they're kind of like a like a Sharpie or Bic market, but they've got a chisel on one end and a and a fine tip on the on the other end. The fine tip's a little soft, as you can see right there. It's, it makes a wider line than like the um, 
well, when was that? The uh, the Azure marker there. Um, they're fine for coloring stuff in. There's not a huge range. At least I had a set of like, I think it was either 12 or 24. I did review them when I got them. Um, you know, they're all right. Not a lot of light shades. Just kind of a weird generic little marker that it was fine. If you see them at the dollar store, or you see them at, you know, some discount place for a cheap price and you want to give them a try, they're fine. Nothing wrong with them. They're going to probably be pretty vivid, bright colors and not like the subtle pastel ones that you might want. Um, and the next one I just want to mention is the Color It Markers by, um, by the Color It Company. They have a case like the Biennial Brush Markers that I showed you with like the, the cardboard slanting case. They used to come in a, um, in a hard cloth case and that was really nice too back when they had the 48 set but they, they lowered the price per marker and put a cardboard case so that you get more for your money more markers for your money that color company is actually really nice people so that's also a, a bonus and um they are 38 dollars for 60 there's no refills and no open stock and um yeah fine and chisel tip 60 per pack and i think that that does it um, I plan on premiering this video so people can watch and we can chat while you guys are watching this and I plan on making this into a spreadsheet that can be uh, that can be accessed and and um, referenced in the future. There's more markers than this. There's other markers that I have that have you know gone by the wayside or just never held up so I didn't really want to bring them up. A lot of look, companies eventually go out of business and you know I didn't think there was much point to to talk about markers that you can't get anymore but um, I hope you found this useful in in kind of like my recommendations. What would I buy if my teenager wanted some markers? Actually, my teenager just come down and take my marker, so it doesn't really matter. But I would probably recommend buying the um, the Ohuhu brush markers if you're going to buy a big set. Um, unless you're absolutely sure that they are going to be in it for the long haul and they're really going to love them, then I would honestly go with the Blick Studio or the Art and & Fly. And that would probably, I would probably ask them what they like the look of better. Honestly, if you're going to, if you're going to ask them, the Blick Studio looks more like Copic. The Art & Fly um, has more of like a fashion look to them. So I guess if I was buying it for a boy, I'd probably go Blick Studio. I know that probably sounds awful and sexist, but the, uh, the Art & Fly just looks very, it's very, you know, pretty. And, you know, a lot of guys don't want pretty supplies. Um, they're, they're good. They're a good investment. And, of course, you know, Copic is, too. If they're, they've got their heart set on Copic, you know, buy Copics. But, you know, you might need to uh, lower the count that you can get them at once because they are expensive. And they are, you know, you want to make sure if you're buying Copics for someone, your kids, that they are going to take care of them because they are a lifetime supply. They're not something that you chuck when the ink runs dry. You get new ink, you, you know, you replace the nibs, you take care of them, you don't scatter them on your bedroom floor. So that would be my choices there. If uh, they weren't crazy about having a brush tip, if they didn't care about that, then um, you, there's a lot of good choices. I probably would go the Hoo Hoo Classic or the, um, the Bianyo just because you get a really good range of colors for the best price and the quality is really good. Um, I also like the Artix Alp again because they're really lovely. The packaging is so beautiful. If you're getting a gift for somebody, that's just such a really nice, um, it's such a really, I gotta put a heart on that one. Why did I put a heart on that one? That one's a, and I also kind of want to put a heart on Arteza because I really like the Arteza too. That one gets a heart. <laughs> you get a heart, you get a heart. There's there's so many good options, basically, is what it boils down to. So like I said, um, most of these markers have reviews on my channel. And also, you can look for reviews by other people on YouTube. And, you know, especially if you know people that your kids watch and your kids like, you can see if they've reviewed that product and see what they think of it. Because they're probably really going to be um, weighing what the artist that they like likes the most. So that would be my other my other tip would be to, to see what whoever they watch has reviewed and um, and kind of you can go between my list and their list and come up with something that your kids are going to like. I honestly don't think you can go wrong with really any of these on the list. Depends on what's available, where you are, and obviously the price and um, what your kid is really interested in. I think there's, it's a great time to be a marker artist because there's so many good markers. You can do anything with a, with a brush marker. With a chisel tip marker, it's just the learning curve is a lot steeper. It's easier to use the brush tip markers, you can get a lot more done in less time, and you don't need as many mar brush markers as chisel markers to get really polished effects, since you can vary the amount of color coming out of a, like a stroke from a, from a brush marker. So if I take, let me grab, uh, let me grab, I'm gonna brush marker here. Um, so if like, you know, you start with more pressure and you, you lift up as you go, you know, you can get like several shades 
of color right there, you know, go from dark to light just with one marker, where it'd be very difficult to do that with a chisel marker. So I don't know if that even really shows on camera, probably not until it dries, but it just, um, you know, it, it just depends on what's important to you. Um, I can't tell you what to buy. I can't tell you what's what's right for you or what's right for someone you're giving a gift to. But um, I think a lot of times the chisel and bullet tip markers get a really bad rap when they're, the ink is the same between the markers. It's just like how how much work do you want to put into learning it? Because we all we had was the, the bullet and the chisel markers for the longest time and we were fine and we liked it. Gall darn it. We liked it just fine. Uh, that's all for today. Wow, that's a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Bookmark it so you can reference it later when you're in the, in the market for some markers. And um, I will try to get this spreadsheet typed up and ready for you. And if more marker brands come up that I review, I can hopefully add that into it. I'll probably try to add a column for link to a review so that, um, so that all that information is together. Boy, won't that be organized. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.